Hi YouTube. So I picked up this old wrench. It's an adjustable wrench. I think they call it a screw wrench. When I got it, it was completely locked up. I uh, didn't know what the make was. It's so rusty. I couldn't see any make or mark at all on it. Obviously the handle's in bad shape. It's pretty rusty. So I'm going to be making a new handle, de-rusting. The handle's bent as well. So we'll get it cleaned up and see what we can do. So I just want to say for a second how much I appreciate some of the repairs that people would do on tools. So someone spent a few minutes on this. If you'll look where this wire's wrapped around at all the joints they made. They had a nail at each end, holding it in. I just kind of appreciate stuff like that. I was able to get everything taken apart here. Uh, now I'm going to soak it in Evaporust, which is really gentle. It's what I usually like to use. And while that's soaking, then we'll work on the handle. This is a piece of wood that I had laying around. I thought it was a piece of walnut. I'm not 100% sure. It was fairly hard. But it was available, and this is what I made the handle out of. In a previous video, I made a treadle lathe. So this was a good opportunity for me to try that out, and it really worked good. I used the draw knife to kind of put it semi-round. The treadle lathe is enough effort that it's easier to make it halfway round before you throw it on there. This is the first thing I've made on this lathe, so it's nothing spectacular, but it did make a totally usable handle. So I'm usually really careful to be as gentle as I can when I do restoration and stuff like that, but this where they've actually used the head of this wrench as a hammer so it's really mushroomed so what I'll do is I'll file that off real carefully just just till we get down to where the mushroom is gone and just kinda make the corners like they were So I've cleaned it up and I've done some filing, some real light sanding, and some wire wheel, which definitely cleaned it up quite a bit. Made it so you can definitely read the maker's mark good, Bemis and Call, Springfield Mass. kind of hard to focus I got it filed just enough to get all the mushrooming off it's tempting to just sit and file and sand until you've made it perfectly smooth but I feel like it's old it's been used it's got scars and 
to try and remove all that I think is going too far and you risk filing off your markings and I did notice there's also the remnant of some marking on here it's hard to see but it looks like an 88 which matches that 88 and it looks like there's a three yep a three above an 88 just like is on there so anyway I think from this point I'm just gonna go to soaking it the small parts I'm gonna soak in vinegar and this big piece I'm gonna stick with my evapor rust So this is kind of the finished product. It turned out pretty nice, I think. I didn't try and make it perfect. It has some tits and imperfections. Someone kind of used it as a hammer. But that's part of the history of it. You can read the maker's mark pretty good now. It's hard to get it, but Venus and Call, Springfield Mass. definitely has been used.